Ladies and gentlemen, I am First Lieutenant Naomi Rivera, and on behalf of Lieutenant Colonel Justin Autumn Walter, Master Sergeant Oliver Vaught, and the cadre of the Forge Gold Battalion, welcome to this morning's commissioning ceremony. All right, good morning, guests, family members, and our soon-to-be newest group of officers, and thank you for joining us today uh, for our 2024 Winter Commissioning Ceremony for California State University, Sacramento. Uh, it's an honor to you know, be here and be able to do this, a significant milestone in the lives of these uh, soon-to-be officers. And I want to take a special moment to thank the friends and families of everyone that's here today, as the cadet's desire to serve can be attributed to the influence and guidance that you had on them growing up. Uh, they're joining an army that's full of possibilities, but their core values were instilled in them long before they came to us. <laughs> these cadets would not be standing here today. There's been a total of our entire history of 41 million Americans who served in the armed forces, which is about 7% of every American who's ever lived. But that percentage is much, much smaller today. And the requirements to become a soldier and to become an officer are harder now than they've ever been. And these cadets standing in front of you soon to be officers are those who were able to meet uh, those requirements. It hasn't been an easy threshold to cross, but the upbringing and education uh, that they had set the conditions for them to be standing in front of you today. Uh, this is the start of a long journey. It may feel like the end as you're you know, finishing up your college time and your time in ROTC, uh, but from here on out, you're not going to be measured by your grades, by your midterms, by your homework, how well the labs went. You're going to be measured by the results and how well the men and women that you are trusted to lead are going to perform. The Army has invested a tremendous amount on getting to where you are today and where you continue to invest in your future. It's an investment that the Army expects will be paid off with your service and leadership over America's sons and daughters in peace and possibly in war. You're going to be required to uphold the Army values, to demonstrate integrity and honor in all you do, and to be above reproach. Those are standards to which all Army leaders are held. And I really just want to thank my parents foremost for always being there to support me. And you know, turning those hard times as failures into learning lessons and really helping me out to close as a leader. Um, I'd also like to do a special thanks to Sergeant Fritch. Um, foremost for my peers, I mean, you guys covered down on me um, a number of times just throughout my busy lifestyle. Uh, I wouldn't be the same person standing here today if it wasn't for the experiences I had in college. But I also wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for God. Give me strength in this journey. If it wasn't for my peers and my parents for the continuous support and for the cadre for the guidance that they gave me. I would like to extend my gratitude towards the cadre for this program. With everything that they have done to ensure that we are standing up here confident and competent when we embark on this next chapter in our Army career. Attention orders. The President of the United States proposed special trust and confidence to patriotism. Valor, fidelity, and abilities of Gerjak Gill, Sarah Westover, Matthew Manessis, and Roman Achoa. In view of these qualities and their demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, they are therefore promoted to rank of second lieutenant, effective 19 January 2024. Sign Christine Roman, second lieutenant. Aye, Sarah. You solemnly swear. You solemnly swear. Support and defend. To support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. States. Against all enemies. Against, against all enemies. enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and, and domestic. domestic. That I take this obligation freely. That, that I take this obligation, obligation freely. Without mental reservation. Without, without mental reservation. reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. That I will well and faithfully. I will well and faithfully. Execute the duties. Execute the duties. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. their first salute from an enlisted service member. The officer will return the salute and honor the enlisted service member with a bright silver dollar. The coin represents the symbolic receipt of respect 
due to the newly earned rank. It signifies the deep sense of gratitude of the new officer for the knowledge that enlisted soldiers, especially NCOs, have passed on to them during training. behalf of Lieutenant Colonel Autumn Walter, Master Sergeant Vaught, and the Department of Military Science, thank you for attending. Let's have another final round of applause for the future of our Army. Thank you.